What's going on YouTube? It's Brandon from Dream Pilot Films. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Atomus Atom X. We have a problem, a time code problem. We use multiple camera brands on our productions and we need a solution to help us sync the footage and post seamlessly. Atomus Atom X promises just that. Today we're gonna unbox the sync modules, but in a future video, we're gonna replace our existing monitors with Atomus Ninja Vs so we can put this time code to the test. I get my trusty unboxing companion here so we can dive in and see what's in these guys. Okay, so straight away we can see that it comes in a very nice professional packaging. It's got a nice build quality. It seems to be uh, made of some kind of composite plastic, but definitely seems durable. The great thing about these is that they have a, a battery expansion pack. So while this is plugged into the, to the uh, slot on the Ninja 5, you can still use your battery on there to power the monitor. Looks like we have a manual in here. Let's take a look at it. So pretty simple um, setup instructions. The great thing about these is that they wirelessly communicate with other modules so that you can have multiple cameras, multiple systems, all using the same feed from the time code. Um, this says that the RF sync range is up to 300 meters. There's an iOS app available that you can download from Atomus so that you can control these via Bluetooth. It does say there's an Android app under development, uh, but that should definitely bring some functionality to these things. So it pretty much only came with the module and this uh, stereo audio cable. The reason for the cable is that so you can calibrate the frame delay per different cameras that you're using. It says here, using the supplied aux cable, connect the headphone line out of the Ninja V to the mic line in of the camera and press calibrate. The Ninja V will calculate the frame delay and report it back to the module, which is pretty awesome. Now that we have these bad boys, we could throw them on the cameras and go see what they can actually do for us. A cool feature that the Ninja V also brings to these Z cams is the ability to record 12-bit ProRes RAW. So we're gonna test that out as well. If you're interested in any of these topics, stick around. We'll see you in the next video.